Okay guys, welcome to this one vs one game that I hosted on the uh, British Grasslands, this is Rome Total War. Um, I never usually play this map, so I didn't realise that hosting it, I wouldn't, like the other team would get a hill advantage, so... <laughs> For me this fight's going to be an uphill fight the entire time, which I wasn't too keen on to start off with. Let's take a look at my troops. I've got a Greek cavalry unit which is uh, gold on something and silver on something else. Uh, gold, gold, bastane. It's like a heavy infantry unit. Uh, six units of militia hoplites, which are these guys. Two units of phalanx pikemen, which uh, one of my my generals in one of them. Here he is. Oh, this gun taken away. Yeah, there we go. General's in this one. And that's my troops, and this is the place, this is where I'm spawning. Oh, I've got one unit of uh, archers as well. And I'm playing as the Thracians, or Thrace. Okay, and I'm against today the Armenians, controlled by Khorasu Khosrau. He's got four units of uh, Armenian legionnaires. He's got three units of archers and he has three units of horse archers. In fact, no, he's got four units of archers. I was wrong then. So he has a cavalry and an archer superiority. Whilst I have a superiority of numbers, and that's about it. So at the moment, my cavalry is hidden. And I decide to. Uh, assault. As soon as I seen this fight, uh, when I was deploying, I knew that it would be a difficult uphill fight. So I thought, what the heck, might as well just get walking up there anyway. So, I was thinking I could have waited and said, uh, come down so it's fair or something, but I hate those uh, long drawn out fights. So I'm going to go for this hill. When he, when he started moving his cavalry around that direction, I decided to uh, pull mine out of hiding. Start rushing them around a bit. I'm going to try and um, intercept some of these archers. Try and kill them off. Send my archers forwards, put them on fire at will mode. So I made the first attack in this game. I mean my cavalry routes very quick here for some reason. I think I just got two dug in with that Legionnaire's unit. They are gold gold, I think, one of them is. That was not a very good charge. So whilst riding away and getting shot at by arrows as well. These horse archers were just trying to uh, harass me. A lot of the time when people get shot by arrows, uh, they like to stand still and just take a few volleys before they figure out what they're going to do. But in this game I thought, nah, I'm not going to do that because Eventually, with that maneuverability and the ability to fire arrows, he's going to be able to catch me and uh, whittle my troops down so I would be able to win the infantry battle. So here my cavalry goes in for the uh, second, challenge, second time. And I separated the uh, archers from the herd. Kill off these archers up here. Nah, uh, they're riding sufficiently for me. So I'd send my cavalry in another attack on the archers. Uh, 
Ah, uh, the infantry plan is gonna be good. I decided to keep on the advance and just surround his men. I've got my heavy infantry coming around so I can attack from the flank whilst they are uh, being held in place by the militia. So I've got the best units going in the best places. I turned around my uh, general's unit to intercept this cavalry, get a few kills. So he's losing a lot of cavalry though. At this point though I thought, alright, things are going really bad here. Losing unit after unit. Got three units on the route already. Four now. Uh, the side where the fighting was going good for my guys was on this side. I turned around this uh, unit of militia hoplites. Managed to route this uh, horse archer unit. I figured out I had uh, my cavalry still just waiting around so I decided to take them out. attack their cavalry with mine. So at least my cavalry was upgraded so I thought it would be a good way to get rid of that. And now I'm gradually winning the uh, infantry battle. Just these legionnaires down here. The gods have filled the enemy general with fear. Now he flees the field like a coward. The gods be praised. The enemy general is dead. His men know their doom approaches. Yeah, my uh, my general killed his general. So that was pretty cool. Now the infantry fight is definitively over. Now there's no way I'm gonna lose. So I start marching up the hill. I still have like my two basically full gold gold phalanx pikes. So a lot of Militia hoplites with uh, gold, well, uh, silver, silver, uh, bronze, bronze uh, attack and defense. And uh, these, uh, oh, they're his legionnaires, they stopped routing. This is a day of glorious victory. My admits the enemy the... fought well, but not yeah, the... well enough. A lot of units just start routing before that. So. I'll take that win. I killed less people. <laughs> so, good game, Cal Sral. But, it looks like the better man won. <laughs> better man on the day, anyway. So, that was Armenia vs. Thrace. I get, hope you guys are tuning into some later videos. And, uh, if anyone has any uh, Rome 2 news, don't be afraid to, like, hit me up with any information that you find out. Like, send me a message through uh, YouTube if you like. Because I'm dead excited about Room 2, I'll be looking forward to playing it. And I'll be buying it when it comes out and putting up some videos. So, you guys uh, just hook me up with it. any of the information you have, and then I'll check it out. Alright, guys, cheers for watching.